Hey guys, welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that we're going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement x equals x plus 1 is executed in terms of n. Then we're going to determine a big O notation for our function f of n. So here in our blue rectangle, I have some pseudocode. And the pseudocode takes some input and places it in n. And then it says x equal to 0. And then we have our first for loop that runs from i equals 1 to n. And within that loop, we have another for loop that runs from j equals 1 to n. And within that loop, we have a third loop that runs from k equals 1 to n. And within that loop, we have our statement x equals x plus 1. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing uh, that we need to do is create our function f of n. OK, and we're going to set it equal to some summations. So for loops can be represented as summations. So the outer for loop can be represented as a summation from i equals 1 to n. Now within that loop, we had a, another for loop. So we're going to have another summation representation from j equals 1 to n. And now within that loop, we had another for loop that ran from k equals 1 to n. So we have our third summation representation there. And then within that loop, we had our statement x equals x plus 1. So we're just going to put a 1 here. All right. OK, so first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the third summation is equal to. So this summation right here. And so we can do that by using a formula, which I'm going to put at the bottom here. And we're going to use this formula that says if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, then this is equal to just n. All right. So we can um, simply plug and chug our values of course we don't have a um, we don't have the I here but that's okay because we have the K so we can still use this summation formula so now let's rewrite our function so our function becomes this the summation from I equals 1 to n of the summation from J equals 1 to n of n. Okay, so this was uh, n was our summation from k equals 1 to n of 1. So now we just get n. All right, and what we can do is we can pull out that n using the properties of summations so that we get n times the summation from i equals 1 to n of the summation from j equals 1 to n of 1. All right. And we can just use the same formula that we used uh, down here again, the same formula in green. So now this becomes n times the summation from i equals 1 to n of n. And again, we can pull out that, that, in, that inner n value to get n times n times the summation from i equals 1 to n of 1. OK? And we can use that summation formula a third time to solve uh, for our summation here. So we're going to solve for this summation here. And now we just get n times n times n, which is equal to n cubed. And that's how many times our statement x equals x plus 1 is ran in terms of n. And so this means that our function f of n, so I'm going to use a brand new sheet here. This means that our function f of n is equal to n to the power of 3. And it belongs to big O of n 
cubed. Okay, so that's our our answer in terms of big O. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I have more videos as well that you can watch. So be sure to check those out on algorithm analysis, computer science topics, um, discrete mathematics, uh, data structures, all that stuff. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and leave any questions you have in the comment section. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.